Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about a couple of new features on our mobile application for YouTube. Uh, specifically incognito mode that just got turned on a couple of days ago as well as take a break. And that's something that was announced at Google I.O. to enable us to enjoy YouTube responsibly on our mobile devices. Uh, this is TK, let's go ahead and check them out. When it comes to incognito mode, we've had incognito mode on our devices for some time and it's basically lived inside of Chrome. You go into the three tabs at the top, you say new incognito tab, and it opens up a new tab that says you are an gone incognito. Now keep in mind, this does not actually hide any information from the IP server or anything from, let's say, if there's if you're running on a private network, they're still gonna be able to see what you're doing. It's just that the history information on this mobile device does not get saved. Uh, if you bring up the keyboard, if you're using Gboard, of course, Gboard turns in into uh, incognito mode as well. And this is something we've been using for a while. And what I really like now is that on our YouTube application, we have a similar function functionality kind of. Uh, you can go under the account tab and then go turn on incognito mode and you'll notice there's that little logo turns on on the top right here. Uh, new your home feed is our play. We're going to say settings. We'll keep it down and this is something that if you want to be able to load. Now all the information you have here is pretty much the same. The home, the trending stays pretty much the same. It'll load. Under subscription of course all of that goes off because you are incognito. Once you turn this off your subscription will come back. Of course, inbox and all of those things will also return once you turn on a incognito mode. Uh, the reason behind this is essentially is that let's say you're sharing this phone with somebody and you don't want their uh, preference and searches to influence your search recommendations. An example for me, at least, uh, if I give this phone to my son and he starts looking up all these, you know, gumball videos on YouTube on my phone, suddenly I'm going to get recommendations for gumball when I'm using my phone and I'm, or I'm using it on my desktop. So for me, these are things that you'd want to keep in mind as this is something that you could use to just keep making sure that, you know, your recommendations are pretty much true to your usage. Uh, of course, search does turn that on. You can go in. Now what you notice though is that the Gboard does not turn on incognito mode automatically. I'm hoping this is going to be turned on in the future but not similarly at least the way we have it with Chrome. To get out of this mode all you have to do is hit the incognito mode tab on top one more time and you get to see that option here. The device will not remember what you search and your profile will not be affected but your ISP, your service provider, your home network provider could still be ability to see what you're doing. So just keep in mind this is not 100% incognito, this is just that keeping the references here at least for the search um, you know, not affected. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to share with you guys if you go under the settings tab, we'll go settings and under general. Now we have the remind me to take a break functionality, which is really, really functional. Uh, and this is one, one of the things they talked about the Google IO to give us the ability to just take a break every hour or whatever. And you can set up the timer. Let's say the maximum you want to go on, on, a, uh, on a, I call it a binge watch. And essentially you're just, you know, spending an hour and after an hour, I want to get a break. I'm just going to say, okay. And it'll give me that notification. Now I'm going to change this a little bit just to say zero and I'm going to give it to, and it looks like five minutes is the shortest amount of time, but short answer is, what you can do here is take a break and gives you the ability to enjoy YouTube responsibly. In about an hour, it'll give you a notification. Hey, do you want to take a break? Now you can take that break or you can ignore it and proceed. And of course that just keeps going on. It's not necessarily going to shut the application for you, but it is something that gives you at least control over what you can do on the device. Both these features are available on the latest version of the YouTube application on your mobile device. Uh, what I want to share with you guys at least here is a couple of things. Keep in mind, incognito mode on YouTube is very similar to the way you have it in Chrome on your mobile device with the exception of that the keyboard doesn't automatically go into, if you're running Gboard at least, doesn't go into incognito mode the way it goes on your Chrome. So just keep that in mind that if your keyboard is running, uh, obviously recommendations and history, anything that you type in your keyboard will be remembered by the keyboard. Um, although when you're in Chrome, for some reason, Gboard does turn on incognito. So again, that could just be a feature. This thing just got turned on. Uh, and as far as take a break, I think this is something that's very functional for a lot of us. We can spend hours on YouTube and realistically lose time and forget about other things, things that we need to do. Having this functionality just gives us a nice little nudge and say, hey, do you want to take a break? Or you can just basically pass through it and continue your binge watch. So again, it's not stopping you from using the YouTube application, but it's at least telling you, hey, take a break. You know, maybe you want to do something else and come back and watch more videos later. Uh, this is TK. Let me know what you guys think of these two features. I think they're very, very functional. Very nice to have them in our YouTube application. Definitely to take a break and incognito mode now so that my son's search history does not influence mine because he always likes to use my phone. Uh, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.